Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another Little Golden Book story from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Our story today is called The Pirate Games, adapted by Andrea Posner Sanchez, the story concept by Alessandro Sisti, illustrated by Stefania Fiorillo, Fiorillo Roberta Zanata, and Giuseppe Fontana. I hope I pronounced those names correctly. <laughs> All right. It's an exciting day on Pirate Island. Jake, Izzy, and Cubby are going to compete against Captain Hook's crew in the Neverland Pirate Games. The team that wins gets a special treasure, a golden pirate trophy. Smee, I want that golden trophy thing, Hook yells to his first mate. The first event is the rope climb. You have to climb to the top and ring the bell, explains Jake. Izzy will climb for Jake's team. She loves climbing. Hook orders Bones to do the climbing for his team, but Bones is afraid of heights. Yikes, he might not be the best person to do the job. Poor Bones, look at him. Izzy and Bones stand by their ropes. Jake starts the competition by calling out, Ready? Yo-ho, let's go! Izzy uses all her strength to pull herself up the rope. I'm going to make it to the top, she tells herself as her teammates cheer her on. Bones is barely off the ground. It's scary, Captain, he says to Hook. Before long, Izzy reaches the platform and rings the bell. Izzy wins, cries Scully. And Scully is the bird. Poor Bones. Captain Hook isn't happy. Barnacles, he hollers at Bones, who is all tangled up in his rope. I'm not going to get that trophy like that. Now it's time for the water cannon target event. Cubby is going first. He aims his cannon and... Splash! Cubby knocks down the target. Bullseye! cries Scully. Next, it's Smee's turn. He is trying to concentrate, but his teammates are making him nervous. Hit it here, Sharky calls out as he and Bones jump around the target. You better not miss, Hook yells, and then glares at Smee. Oh, I bet I guess, I, I bet I can guess who's going to get hit. <laughs> Look where it's aiming, right at Captain Hook. <laughs> there it is. Smee closes his eyes and squirts his water cannon. Did I hit the target, he asks? No, Smee, hollers Hook as he gets knocked over by the stream of water. I'm not the target. <laughs> For the last event, the teens head to an old pirate ship on the edge of the beach. This is the pirate balance challenge, Cubby tells everyone. You have to walk across the ship's mast without falling. The mast is that, that board right up there at the top. Hook decides he will do this event for himself. Yep, they have to walk across that without falling. But first, it's Jake's turn. 
He holds his arms out to his sides, looks straight ahead, and carefully walks across the mast. Way to go, Jake, cheers Cubby. Yay, hey, you did it, yells Izzy. Bah, I can keep my balance too, says Hook. As he stands on the mast, the captain takes a few steps and starts to wobble. Then the wobbling turns into falling. Help me, Smee, cries Hook. Once Captain Hook is fished out of the water, Jake and his crew begin to celebrate their win. Oh dear, Captain says to me, it looks like we lost. And I really wanted that golden trophy thingy, Hook whines. Jake, Izzy, and Cubby are proud of themselves. They worked well as a team and won the Neverland Pirate Games. Maybe they'll even let Hook borrow their trophy one day. <laughs> And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.